All right, our, our goal for this video is to cut out our final creature and to post it to Canvas. So remember, we are posting to assignment two. And you, you're always welcome to post any kind of process along the way to acknowledge the deadline. The deadline is tonight at before midnight, right? But the one thing you're required to post along with your final PNG cutout of your creature is your sketch to help us understand the anatomy. So that's where we started today. And this is where we're finishing. So let's cut it out. It really helps before you cut it out to merge it all. So I merged the groups. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate both of the, the head and the body group, move them up next to each other, turn off the others, and then I'm gonna merge those two groups together. So we merged a group by duplicating a group and then right-clicking and saying merge. If there's two selected, you can go to layer and merge layers, command E. And now I have my character, except for the clone stamp, all on one layer. If I wanna merge the clone stamp in with it, I'm just gonna hold down shift. If I wanna be careful, I can make duplicates of both my clone stamps. With Command J, turn off the ones I don't want to merge. Hold down Command and select all of these. Because if you hold down Command, you can select multiple layers that aren't touching. If you hold down Shift, they have to be touching. But you select those multiple layers, and I can go to Layer, Merge Layers, and it will put all those together. And then the last one I need to merge is this little background cutout of the middle gray, because without it, I can see spots and I can see the grid through my creature because of the transparency. So when I turn that on, it fills it out. I'm even going to make a, an extra duplicate of group two because I like how that darkens it even more. And then I'm going to merge all of those together. So hold down command and then go to layer, merge layers, not merge visible, just merge those layers. So now I have it all in one layer on a gray background that's separate, so it can be turned off, and my sketch is still there, it can be turned on and off. And in my PSD file, I still have every little component that made it up. So I am not losing any work. I'm making duplicates and then merging to make it easier to cut out. So let me save my work. Then I'm going to keep that background turned on. I'm going to use my tablet and I'm going to use my lasso. And now I know everything I cut out matters because this is one layer. So if I want a soft edge, like for the fur at the chin, I kind of wobble it a little bit. And then for the spike texture at the neck, I get to cut out those spikes. And I can do this in chunks and around the lip. And I have a two pixel feather turned on and then I just hit delete. And then that is the edge of my creature. What's great about creature design is it's very subjective. You can decide where these edges are, especially on, on soft textures like feather or fur. For the tooth, that's a nice hard edge. But then for this mouth, there's a lot of fur here coming from the side, but maybe I don't want all of it. With my two pixel feather, I get to decide where to cut it out. Now I just messed up a little bit. I'll zoom in so you can see. And I cut a little bit too much into the tooth. So how do I fix that? I can hold down option with my lasso and I can take away from my selection. So I don't erase too much of that tooth or of that mouth. 
because when you feather, it does move it a little bit. And then if I wanted to add a little bit, I can hold down shift to that lasso. Remember, you can augment your selections. And then when I hit delete, I get that nice two pixel feather on all the fur on the side of the mouth. Hit command D. If I want to delete this edge a little bit better, I can be a little bit more targeted. You can zoom in, but don't zoom in so much that you're just going to be lost in the details. These whiskers are important. <laughs> and I'm going to try object selection to see if it can define these a little bit, these whiskers. It should be a little bit easier because they're all on one layer, but not so much. And that's just because their colors are too similar. So what do I need to do? A lot like the tree in my landscape, I need to go in and decide which of these I want to outline and allow to come through. And I can delete it away in sections. I'm going to keep the two pixel feather, even though these are very thin. And that's because whiskers are transparent. You can see through them. And so that softness of the feather will make each little whisker follicle blend in somewhat with the environment behind it. Ah. And we're not, we're not paid the big bucks like at ILM to get every detail just right. We're not given the luxury of time. We just want to do our best within the deadlines we have. That's just why I'm using the, the direct lasso. I actually think it's the fastest way to. If I tried with the magic wand, all these pixels are so similar, there'd be a lot of cleaning up needed. So this does a pretty good job. Just the feather with the uh, lasso. If you chose creatures and reference that didn't make you have to do any really hard cutouts like this, then you are to be congratulated. And at any time, if I wanted to give these whiskers a haircut, I could do that and save myself some work. So do what's right for you. Give me lots of practice with my tablet. And the better job you do cutting it out, the easier our proving ground that we do next class will be. So on a practical level, what do you really want to make sure you get done before next class? You want to make sure you have something posted for assignment two. So that next class we can continue to clean it up, put it on our assignment one landscape, and continue to improve both assignments. Because there's always refinements you can do if you have the time. And the goal is to make them the best portfolio piece we can.
I'm going to move on from there for the moment, get to this other stuff. The, that middle gray background does a good job showing us little debris. Looks like it's from the clone stamp layer that I can just cut right out. Just using delete with my two pixel feathering. Be a little bit faster. I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit. It's going to cost me some accuracy. We will get there. And sometimes you just have to zoom in. And select carefully. Now, uh, anytime I can adjust my level of feather, but I would recommend at least a one pixel feather because it has the added benefit of once you've made a selection and you hit delete, you can hit delete again and take away a little bit more. It kind of echoes on itself. But if you don't have any feather, then it's just going to remove the pixels entirely and it won't give you any kind of soft transition. And the human eye likes soft transitions, especially on soft textures. So all this little kind of funkiness I've used in previous videos, I used the analogy of building a car bolting together the different parts. This is now the polishing, the waxing and finishing and you've soldered it together. This is cleaning up all of the little beads of solder, grinding them down, making sure you get the profile and the silhouette that you want. So we don't have any weird surprises. This back foot is pretty soft, so I might use the sharpen tool on it. First, I want to cut it out. Ah, flipped. See if I can save that. Hmm. I don't know if I can. I'll just do a smaller section at a time. And the front legs. 